Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am back. Um, probably for about another three weeks, and then I'll be gone until next April, <laughs> like always. I'll uh, pop up now and then, and maybe a little bit over the holidays, but uh, yeah, this next three weeks is going to be it for, again, a long while. So if I'm doing a lot of testing or filming in the summer, it's just trying to catch up. <laughs> I'm so behind on, on what everyone else is doing, I feel. Because these cars here haven't been tested yet, and there's so many like them uh, that haven't been. We're going to try to start digging into some of the old stash. Um, first up on Is It Fast, it's going to be this Modern Classics Shelby GT500. This has some suspension work done by Brandon. Uh, this rear suspension was really bad. It was rubbing up against the uh, rear quarter panel, and that was no good. So he put some JB Weld in there and tacked it back up. It's stock, so it's going to be running in my classes, but I could never send it anywhere because it would not technically be stock since the bottom has been open. There's been no weight added, though. It's just it simply suspension fixed. Um, get the weight on him. Hopefully he runs well. He wasn't running well. I just did a rework on him with the new dust and techniques I've been using. Who knows? Because he raced his way out of the ranks. So I'll go ahead and set the spacer. We'll do some individual uh, time trials, and then we'll see if he's worthy of the ranks. It's looking good in the line. Hot lap number one. Twenty forty-eight. It's not too bad. I think it's going to get him in the ranks. Better than what he was. Let's switch it up. Hot lap number two. Seems a little better. Yeah, there we go. 2042, he's definitely going to find himself in the ranks, so let's go uh, test him out. Right now, in the 51 to 62 ranks, we have a front running Fairmont as the gatekeeper. Let's go ahead and get this over with because I don't think it's going to be too close of a race. I think that Shelby's going to take it down pretty hard. This Fairmont weighs 51.4 grams. Shelby again is 55.6. Shelby's in one. Gatekeepers in two. Race one. Shelby looking good. Fairmont swimming like a fish. 40 to 45. Pretty good times. Let's switch it up. Five one thousandths advantage for the Shelby. Race two. All Shelby. 2050. 2057. He is the new gatekeeper. However, let's see if he is more than a gatekeeper. Let's move him up a couple against this uh, Black with Flames Camaro, who currently sits at number nine in the 51 to 62 metal ranks. Other guys have mixture of metal and plastic, which is great. I like seeing it because it shows how fast plastic is. I just wanted to give plastic its own showcase so i broke mine up into metal and plastic 12 in each except for this class i have nine in the 51 to 62 plastic and i have 15 in the 51 to 62 metal black with flames camaro lane two shelby in lane one that is the shelby kicking it throw in the air I was doing time trials here this week, guys. That Black with Flames is much faster than 2067. I just can't handle the bad air. 16 one thousandths advantage. Let's switch it up. Yeah, in fact, I ran this class yesterday. This averaged 2052 for two runs, and I just ran a 2067 in a matchup. So there is a significant difference between matchups and solo runs. Let's get the right car in the line. Shelby's in lane two. 
Black with Flames Camaro is in lane one. He's got some work to do. And Shelby is kicking it right now. 44 to 59, no doubt. And he is on the move. Okay. Uh, I am going to send him up um, the whole way to number one. I just have a feeling about that Shelby, the way it's running right now. And it's getting faster. So, the Red Solaire is number one in his class. He beats him, and he graduates to try into the top 24. 57.4 grams for the Red Solaire. He's going in lane two. And our Shelby on the move in lane one. I like the Shelby. The way it's running right now, that car is tracking incredibly well. Not even close, guys. He's throwing air, and he's running time. I mean, 74 for the Solar, that's unheard of. He's throwing shit air towards these cars, and they can't handle it. It's pretty crazy. Man, I wish he was a pure stock. I mean, this this is just going through the motions. I mean, he already kicked his ass, so race two. Kicked it again. Closer race, but just a faster car. 50 to 65. That was a horrible time for, for the number one car in a 51 to 62. Yes, I have all every single car that I'm sending to Brandon's is faster than at 65. Um, that's pretty crazy. Here we are in the top 24. That gatekeeper is a handful. This is the AMG by Matchbox, the Starburst. Let's get these two in the line and see if the Shelby is going to get himself into this top 24. Pretty much already is. 51.6. He beats him. This Mercedes is going to get bumped out into the ranks. Here we go. Race one. That was a great race. That was the Mercedes right there. 43 to 52. 11, 1,000 speed. I don't know if the Shelby can make that up. And yeah, I was a math finance major in college. That is a 9, 1,000 speed. Sorry about that. Um, still a lot to make up. 9, 1,000 advantage for the AMG. All AMG. 40 to 47. Shelby's going to be the number one car in 51 to 62 ranks. Pretty cool. All right, there he sits, numero uno, in a pretty fast class. So let's go test another heavyweight, which is going to be the Datsun 280Z Laser Wheels. All right, guys, this 280Z Laser Wheels is pretty rare. It's on a couple of other channels, but you don't see it race too much. Um, this thing is sick. It is uh, sick in terms of a collectible and hopefully in terms of speed. It's a rework, so I don't know what's going to happen here. We're 53.1 grams. Spacer is set. Let's get him looking good in the rack. Let's hope for like 2050. Yeah, how about 2060? Oh, 52. Didn't seem that fast, but uh, there's a little bit of noise there. We'll take that. Let's switch it up. Hot lap number two. It's about what more of what I thought. 2065. Ugh, we'll try him in the ranks. It's going to be tough, but we'll see. Right now, this heavy blue Solaire is the gatekeeper. I'm still not sure about that red Solaire before. That thing was a jet, and it just underperformed badly. I have to take a look at things after, that's, after this race here. 
60.7 grams for the Blue Solaire. And the Challenger, the Laser Wheels 280Z in lane two. It's rock and roll. We have a wipeout. Cars are allowed one derail here at your Nightmare Raceway. So we'll go ahead and rack them up again and see what we have. All right, guys, lanes are switched. Uh, another derail, he defaults, he's out. Um, I allow one, that happens sometimes. Uh, luckily, it's rare, but it does happen. So we want to see him run, though. Here we go. Ooh, that is so there. It is a good race. Two one thousandths beat, 55, 57. We'll switch lanes. Race two. Um, I didn't switch lanes. <laughs> 60 to 79, but we're going to switch lanes. We're going to go with the 55 to 57. Sorry about that. We'll get them back to the top. Now we're better. Race two, two one thousandths advantage for the Solaire. That's another close race, but the Solaire edges out. Dawson 280 laser wheels. Almost the identical times. 54 to 57. Track's running good. And the Solaire is too. Last but certainly not least is a Nova. Easter exclusives Nova. It has bad wheels. I am not optimistic about this guy. Let's get him in the uh, on the scale. And then we'll get him in the rack and send him down for some hot laps. Great weight. 60.1 grams. I don't know if it's going to translate to speed, though. They've been known to be quick. Haven't seen any that are elite. But in this case, I'm not optimistic because those front wheels were ones that kind of worked together. Like you spun one and both of them spun. You know, and it just, I couldn't break them free. So here we go. Race, or hot lap number one. It's pretty horrible. We'll switch it up. Hot lap number two. <laughs> Not fast at all. Even the good ones aren't. So, sorry if that offends, but they're not fast. Um, the 280Z, not fast. Uh, not this Laser Wheels Edition. Couldn't get in the ranks. Ran consistent, but just uh, not quick in the, in the top end. That Shelby Modern Classics, yeah, it's fast. If you're going to run it up uh, up the ranks and you know, get the number one spot in the 51 to 62 medal, you're doing something. Now, I am going to recalibrate this after um, filming here today. Maybe I'll do some recalibration now and I'll be back and I'll just show you because I do not like how that ran. I'm not sure what, what happened there, but we'll, uh, we'll get this figured out. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Yeah, we did a little shuffling here. Um, that car that was number one is now number nine. So we have the Shelby, the Murata, the Backwoods Bomb, and the Purple Challenger, white Ferrari are the top five. So there you have it. Um, it's fast. <laughs> Definitely fast. So I really appreciate you with me. And we will catch you soon and hope you're finding speed out there.